close line. And here we go. This tag team match is going to be heated, to say the least. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its finest, fellas. And he's a proud guy. That title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. Close line right to the back of the neck. Hooked up. Driver. Nailed it. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Incredible impact. He's starting to feel it here. Well, he knew this was going to be a Ouch. fight heading into this one. Well, it's not dire oh. consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Harsh impact. There he goes, crashing to the floor. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Slam down hard. Boom, what impact. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. This might be it! Oh, my! Oh, an elbow drop! Boom! Ooh, ooh, ooh. What a stomp! Good grief! Oof! The rude awakening! impact he might have it incredible impact I knew it was only a matter of time here he goes is he done nicely done as he gets out of the submission color me surprised Michael butterfly DDT he's in control now there's not a person in this arena who thought that that was it for him. Oh, man, I don't know who to root for. Boom! <laughs> and off the tag. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, and a boot to the face. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Hey, hey, you're going to get yourself disqualified. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. He's got the shoulders down. He got body on body there, but that's about it. He isn't going to go away that easy. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, straight forearm. Nailed it. Oh, and it's a reversal. Oh, what impact. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Heart Foundation. The rocker dropper from the Rockers or the Doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. The fist has been dropped. 
effectively using the knee. Well, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh boy, he is rolling. Slam down hard. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, what a stomp. Good grief. Oh boy, he is rolling. Leg drop. Double axe handle smash. Thunderous slam. Wicked clothesline. The claw may be done here. Incredible. How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. I think we know what this is. Ooh, that'll mess up your shoulder. This one is over. He wants it one more time. Oh, and a butterfly DDT. Nicely done. He's got him covered. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Bang! Oh, what an uppercut. Specifically targeting the leg. Oh, nasty impact. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Great effort from both these teams, guys, but at this point, both sides look to be struggling here. Oh, my God. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Harsh impact. What a strike. What a stop. Good grief. Ooh. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. This might be it. Oh, my. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Got him turned over. The Boston Crab. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. When this guy's on, look out. Beautiful technique. Ooh, what impact. Harsh impact. Now he's working that exploit. Man, what a slam. Can he finish him off here? You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. Gets out of the way of that one. The leg is... A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. He gets him with a reversal. 
Dodges a bullet there. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh my God, a clothesline! At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. He's making a statement here with this attack. What? No, he reverses it. And he's heading back in. It wouldn't like that. Says a lot about a duo.